Hello, this is Tony Heller from Visitech.ai. In this short video, we're going to take a look at how the National Guard deployment in Washington, D.C. on August 11th has affected crime trends. We're going to do this on a tool which I helped develop at app.visitech.ai. This is what the website currently looks like for subscribers. There's going to be some significant changes to the look and feel in the next couple of months, but the workflow will be very similar. So let's get into the latest crime data from the Washington, D.C. Police Department. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the Options tab to get to the data. Now I'm going to click on Demos and D.C. Crime 2025. We just downloaded the latest crime data from the Washington, D.C. Police Department, and now we have a map of the more than 20,000 crimes reported in Washington, D.C. so far this year. Now I'm going to make a query, group by date, and count the number of violent crimes. Now on the left side of the screen, we have a graph of the number of violent crimes reported in Washington, D.C. on each date of 2025. By hovering the mouse cursor over it, you can see that there were 14 violent crimes reported in Washington, D.C. on October 25th. That tied for the fifth highest one-day violent crime count this year. Let's take a look at the violent crimes which were reported on October 25th. I'm going to enter that query down here. Now on the right side we have a map of the 14 violent crimes reported on October 25th. You can see that there were a number of gun crimes reported in the Columbia Heights area. So let's take a closer look at that. I'm going to double click on one of these markers so that we can see the detail of that crime. We can also use Google Street View to take a closer look at where these two gun crimes occurred. And we can pan around and take a closer look at that lovely neighborhood. Now let's take a look at the number of violent crimes per week, which is a little bit easier to understand. Now we have two graphs. The lower one is the number of violent crimes per day, and the red line is the number of violent crimes per week. I don't want to see the number of violent crimes per day anymore, so I'm going to X that series out. I'm going to change the graph to a bar chart by clicking on this box. You can see that on the week of August 11th, the number of violent crimes was fairly low. That was the week when the National Guard arrived. Since then, though, the number of violent crimes has increased back up to its previous level. It doesn't appear that the National Guard has made much long-term difference in violent crime rates. It may have made some parts of the city safer, however. So let's take a look at where the violent crimes have occurred since August 11th. We can see that they've been occurring all over the city, except for the area around the White House. Now let's break the violent crime count down by the type of weapon used. Group by week and count the number of gun crimes. Now we have three graphs on the left side, but I'm only interested in the bottom one, so I'm going to X out the other two. And now I'm going to click on Reset Zoom to set it full scale. You can see that there was a sharp drop in the number of gun crimes the week the National Guard arrived, but since then they've been creeping back up again. Now let's do the same exercise for knife crimes. Group by week and count the number of knife crimes. I'm only interested now in the knife crime count, so I'm going to X out the gun crime count and click Reset Zoom. You can see that there's been a sharp increase in knife crime since the National Guard arrived on August 11th. Apparently criminals are choosing quieter weapons now to commit their violent crimes. A knife is less likely to attract the attention of law enforcement than a gunshot will. In just a few minutes we've all become experts in Washington DC crime. 
This tool, Visitech.ai, can be extremely valuable for law enforcement and politicians. It's also very valuable for just about any other type of data. Right now, it's only $20 a month to subscribe to Visitech.ai, but our competition is charging a lot more, so I don't know how long that price is going to stick. This is Tony Heller, and I hope to see you soon at Visitech.ai.